It's hot. Sweating under this motherfucker. Got my large professors on right now, too. Hey, hey. Ha, hey, hey. It be hard with your cameraman. You want to laugh and shit when a nigga say something funny. And you really want to giggle, but you know you're going to fuck it up. And because the nigga in front of the camera is going to fuck you up if you start giggling and laughing. But that was funny when I said I got my large professors on. You wanted to giggle. With no disrespect, but these are my large professors. Hey. Who's your top five producers? I mean, I, they, I've, I've been asked that question before. My, my top five producers. It's really hard to say who my top five producers are, but the dudes that made the most impact on me, what I, I would have to say, would be like Marley Mall. I'm talking about hip hop producers, am I correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Marley Mall, um, Dr. Dre, DJ Premier. <clears throat> um, for me, I'd probably have to say, um, like, Teddy Riley. I'm not stumped. Teddy Riley. Um, and, and you know, it's a tie. The, the fifth spot is like one of them three way ties between like Diddy, myself, and I probably have to say like, you know, like this guy was like a hip hop, RB, pop producer. I, I probably have to say like, Hard, like it's kind of hard for that fifth slot. I'm really ready for this third person. That took me a minute. Like, Why? It's controversial. It must be because it's taking you a minute. Nah, I told you, it's, it's hard to pick the favorite producer. So what was that third person in that fifth top spot? We'll come back to that. Oh, all right, let's all right. That for the, let's leave that for the people for a second. How how has uh, your production changed from back then uh, to now? Um, your production technique. My production technique from then to now. I mean, obviously, I've been exposed to a lot more credible producers and a lot, a lot of A-list superstar artists to teach me some things that I didn't know. So I would say, like, my, my production skills have elevated to the, to the point where I've learned more about notes and, and, and harmonies and the way songs are put together and arrangements and orchestral situations. And, you know, just, just how sounds are really put together and sonically the way things could be, should be and could be, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's how it's elevated, just, just you know, experience, really. Is, is there an artist right now that you like, you like to work with? Like, if you just could pick up the phone to, and just call anybody to like, do a beat with them in the studio right then and there? I've never worked with Beyonce. I, I like to work with Beyonce one day. Um, I really like Alicia Keys. And I think based on my old school, me and Lil Wayne might do something clever. You know, I've always had the ability. I mean, I, I, I've worked with Eminem, so I would like to have the ability to work with him again too. You know what I mean? So those are a couple of artists that. I feel like I could flip some new fangled 2023, 2018 type shit. Okay. <laughs> are you are you still sampling or are you uh, playing these days? I'm always sampling and was always playing. So for me, nothing has ever changed. You know what I mean? Um, sampling for me is just because I, I wasn't raised as a musician. A lot of things that I've learned as a musician, I've learned through experience. So. Always sampling, always still playing and getting these wonderful musicians out here to overdub and do whatever we got to do to make the song better. Uh, what 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 future plans uh, do you have right now for the Mad Rapper? Um, just gonna hate on, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate the hate, cause without the hate, you don't know what the love is. You know what I mean? <laughs> they go hand in hand, peanut butter and jelly. But really just gonna hate on a lot of things that's going on, talk, you know, just basically take a helicopter view from what's going on in the game and speak on it, make some people laugh about it, make some people mad about it, hopefully have a hit record in between, you know what I mean? Get on the radio, hit the road, do the same thing we did back in the days, you know what I mean? Make that impact, sell some records, you know, keep the bread flowing.
got a lot of things coming up, animation type of things, all types of things in the works. How did you think of uh, the hook for the theme? Cause Tra I interviewed Tracy, and he said, "Yo, D Dot just came up with the hook from Saturday night, uh, uh, Saturday morning, uh, the cartoon joints." Like, were you were you just watching it one day and just? I mean, I'm still a big kid at the end of the day, so that was you know those. It was from the it was from the um, schoolhouse rock. Schoolhouse rock, yeah. Schoolhouse rock on Saturdays that was a in, real impact for me. You know, I was one of the clouds the only child, so that was real impactful for me. All them songs, so I just felt like, you know, that might have been a good idea. That was just during the era where you could take a beat, jack a beat, jack a hook, flip it, make it yours, make a new song out of it. So that's what I did. I was just telling my man DJ Travis Rerock, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to DJ Re Rock. I was telling Re Rock um, that um, you know I I did that for Trey. The telephone is ringing in the middle of my interview. That's the type of shit like some real bullshit. Yeah, if I was high class bullshit, that we'd have to cut and do that over. But anyway, I was telling Re Rock that I did do that for Trey Lee. That, that's because I'm a rapper. You, you get what I'm saying? I started the game as a rapper, so any beat I make, I'm always going to want to put a verse on it or do something on it. Just or for spec, just for exercise, you know what I'm saying? And I just happened to be one of the joints I just felt like exercising on, and I told him I thought he'd be hot on it. His boys hated on me though, they thought that record was gonna ruin him. I was like, well, you know, it could either ruin him or make him. I personally vote, let's what go record with is this? the theme. Wow. Yeah, some people thought that shit was too, it was too much for him at the beginning. But I was like, you know, you can't help what comes out, it came out hot, let's go. Just, you know what I mean? Right. We didn't have more of those. That was the problem. That's we needed more. We needed more. Of them. Who was like yeah. the the fastest dude? Like you go to the studio and they should be done already, and you be like, damn, or they be in the booth and you be like, wow. And it be hot. You mean? Yeah. Uh oh. Like every time, never just really disappoint you. Like yeah, damn. Right. This dude always delivers. I always want to work with this guy. And and it be the fastest. Yeah. yeah. Like one take. I mean, not that I was in the studio with him, but so many times, but I mean, I have to say Jay, if anybody, you know what I'm saying, did it the fastest and the hottest, you know what I mean, it's not like I've been in the studio with him ridiculous amounts of times, but the times that I've been there, it's never really, it's been kind of effortless, like, you know what I mean? I'd like to shout out, um, Gadget, for falling asleep behind the camera. Got all types of pretzels and shit on the lens. <laughs> Call this the snack portion of the fucking <laughs> of the, of the interview. They got pretzel salt on the lens and shit. Nah, anyway, Mad Rapper coming soon. Mixtape. Appreciate the hate part two coming soon. You know what I mean? Shout out to the bed. I'm about to go lay up in, get some sleep. You know what I mean? Out of here. I'm good. That's it? That's it. Yeah, I'm good, man. Yo, 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 yo! Ha 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 Yo, before great sex like a little fine dinner Feed her the gift and put a little wine in her She called me Derek Jeter cause I put the pine in her Said nah baby girl I'm more like Steinbrenner the owner of the team, living out my dream, and proof that crime pays, yeah I mean, take you upstream where my smoke is green, when you see my rest, it might take your breath, young you hef, hop in all the bunnies, wrote the how to book for all you dummies, not a pimp, but I walk with a limp, I'm just a hustler, I'm on my EPMD, and you my customer.